Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Durable to help you with your CRM if you are a small business owner. So Durable.co actually offers more than just AI for your CRM and here are the products that they actually offer such as AI website builder, CRM, invoicing, AI assistance and also AI blog builder. But for today, I'm just going to focus on how you can use Durable.co for your CRM and also for your invoicings. So to be able to use the CRM tools on Durable, you will have to sign in and have your website created on Durable. If you haven't done so, you can go ahead and do that first. I already have my website on Durable, so I'm just going to go ahead and just sign in. As you can see, here is the homepage of my tools on Durables and I already have my website ready. As you can see on the left side of the menu, it, there was written Clockwork Translation, which is the name of my business. So from this homepage menu, you can actually access several things such as your website, the marketing tools, the CRM tools, and also your invoicing tools. Let's start by looking at the CRM menu. So as you can see on the homepage, we have this bar that says that you want to keep track to all of your customers. We can just start from there. I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. And as you can see, it direct me to the CRM tools and it shows the things you could do with this tool, such as you can import your contact or you can add it manually. You can also sync your email. If you, let's say you want to sync your Gmail or other emails that you have, you can do that and sync your email to Durable. You can also set auto reply for the emails or the leads that are going to be on Durable. You can also create a website contact form and what it does is that this part right here, I'm going to connect to the website that you already made with Durable. So let's try to click on the import button. As you can see here, you can only import your contacts if you are using the paid plans. As for now, I am using a free plan, so I cannot do that. If I want to import my contact, I will have to do it manually. So you can input your contact manually by clicking on the add contact button. And as you can see, a pop up bar are going to show up on the right side of your screen. And you can just go ahead and input a details of your customer. For example, I'm going to input the first name first and the first name is going to be Adele. Meanwhile, the last name is going to be Holmes. And after you input the names, you can go ahead and inside the emails of your customers. So you can go ahead and do that. And then you can insert the phone number of your customer and then the company and other details that you would like to input. Now, besides the general details that you will usually insert into your customer contact, you can also at the source of the contacts that you have or you can also classify your customer whether they are a new customer or they are a leading customer etc after all of the details are inserted you can go ahead and click save your customer details are going to show on the crm tools dashboard if you take a look on this list, you can see that it has several columns such as name, email, new messages, phone, and source. You can customize the columns, you can add or you can decrease the column according to how you need it to be. You can also setting it and change the column names if you need it. To customize your column, you can just go ahead and click on the gear symbol which means that it's a setting and you can go ahead and see that there are some available columns that are already created by the ai and if you see on the very right side of each column's names there are a pencil symbol it means that you can edit it by clicking that you can also add a new custom field by clicking on the add new field buttons and then it's going to give you several suggestion of the fields that you might need such as text, money, number, etc. 
and when you click on one of the field name suggestion you can customize the field label and also its type i'm going to try to create a custom field by clicking on the text type and i'm going to go ahead and label the field as ongoing project and i'm not going to do anything about the type i'm just going to leave it as it is and as you can see, when I slide the bar under my customer's name, a new field column appeared, which is the one that I just custom in the name of ongoing project. Now, if I want to see the details of my customers, I can go ahead and click on the triple dots on the very right side of my customer's name and choose manage. What it will do is that it's going to open up my customer profile and it's going to show me recent invoices, recent notes, contact form and also recent messages that I might have with my customers. It also shows me the details of the email, the phone numbers, etc. And it also will allows me to edit her profile if necessary. And here I'm going to insert just a tiny details on the new column that I just created, which is the ongoing project. I'm going to type out the project that I'm currently working with with my client so what it does is that when i am going to see my client's name on the crm dashboard i don't have to open up my client's profile just to see what are the projects i am currently working on with them now on the top bar of durable you can see there are several things that you can click on such as overview messages notes and invoices the messages sections are going to show you if you ever had message from your clients and the invoices sections are going to show you any invoices regarding to that specific client. Now let's try and see what happened if we try to sync our email. As you can see this pop-up notification just shows and what it means is that if you want to sync your email you would have to use their paid plan. And you cannot do it if you are using the free plan like I am right now. But if you would want to do that, you can just go ahead and subscribe to one of their plan. And so it goes with your auto reply because you will have to sync your email in order for you to set up for your auto reply. Now let's try and take a look at the invoices sections. As you can see, if you click on the invoicing menu, there are several things you can see such as the invoices, invoice item and also setting. You can try to create an invoice based on item and to do that you can just go ahead and click on the invoice item and then click create an item. You can start by inserting the name of the item you would like the invoice will be. As for me, I'm going to take an example of a translations, my translation that are priced based on pages. So I'm going to go ahead and name the invoice as one page translation and I'm going to insert just a short description so that I know the detail of the items that are built with this invoice. And once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and try to classify the type of my invoice, whether it is built by item or hourly and then I can type out the price. After I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and click save. And as you can see, now I have uh, my invoice based on items. Now, if I want to build this invoice to my customer, I can go ahead and click on the three dots on the very right of the invoice name. And then I can just go ahead and click invoice. And what I can do here is that I can choose the name of the customer I would like to build this invoice with. I can change the number of invoice. I can also change the date. And I can also set the payment terms, such as will it be on receipt, 15 days, 30 days, or custom. If I choose custom, I will have to define the due date so that my customer will know when they have to pay according to this invoice. I can also input the tax percentage and if I put a number on that tax bar, what's going to happen is that Durable are gonna calculate the amount of tax based on the percentage that I just put. You can see the calculation of the tax alongside with the total of your invoice on the bottom right of your screen. 
once you're done with your invoice you can go ahead and click save and there is also another thing so you can use with your crm tools which is an ai assistance to use an ai assistance you can go ahead and click on the lighting bold symbols on the top right of your screen and then you can just click what you need from the ai assistance or if you have any other question you can just type it out on the provider text box for an example i'm clicking on one of the suggestions that the ai assistance provided and as you can see it gives me an answer and also it direct me to the page i can see my answers at i was asking about where i can set my taxes default and it brings me directly to the setting of my taxes and there it is that is how you can use durable and that's it that's how you can use durable crm tools alongside with the invoicing you can enjoy more benefits if you're using the paid plans i'm just going to quickly show you the pricings of each plans and here they are you can pause the video if you would like to see their pricings that is it for today i hope this tutorial has been helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day